Good morning, RV Nation. Actually, I guess it's good afternoon. We're heading home from the wind, from a long day's work as usual, and uh, driving the old pickup truck today in the old Chevy. I got an O2 Chevy Silverado. I miss this thing. It's faster than my wife's Ford Edge, and it sounds better. Today, I'm gonna go home and work on the tow dolly. Welcome to the motorhome experiment. have to run one quick errand. I think I'll use the Weiss car for that. But you guys don't need to see that stuff. All right, gang, I made it home. Now, I have to warn you guys that my garage is gonna be an absolute nightmare. It's kind of become our catch-all for everything that we're doing here, boxes and all that kind of stuff. And the thing that I wanted to show you today, what I'm gonna be working on over the next little while, is this. Toe dolly. Now, this tow dolly, a friend of mine had sitting around, and I bought it from, for a couple hundred bucks. It's a little bit beat up. So, we're gonna take this thing here, wire wheel, and we're just gonna go around this bad boy, and we're gonna clean it all up. I'm also gonna replace these fenders with these other fenders here that are in better shape. We're gonna paint them up. We're gonna put some LED lights in the fenders. We're gonna get this whole thing cleaned up. We're gonna throw some Rust-Oleum on it and it will be good to go. Now, the car we're towing, going to be towing at first is this Ford Edge, but we're going to be getting rid of the Ford Edge and we're gonna go to a Ford Focus. Why are we doing that? Ford Focus is gonna have a lot better gas mileage. It's gonna be a little bit lighter than the Edge as well. Now, I'm also going with a tow dolly and this is gonna get all kinds of crazy comments, guys, and we're gonna get all this controversy going. I believe a tow dolly is a better way to go. Other people are gonna tell you that four down, towing is a lot better way to go. I'm telling you right now that I've been around cars my whole life, cars are not meant to be towed four down for long periods of time. Most vehicles, even if you are towing it four down, are supposed to be started and fluids run through them every now and then, and people don't do that. Now, again, I'm gonna get the argument that, oh, I've been doing it for years and years and years, tow towing four down and, and my vehicle's fine. Yeah, okay, but you're also going through a lot of wear and tear on that vehicle. All four tires, ball joints on all four sides. You're going through, you know, tires. When you're towing, those front tires are getting slid sideways back and forth. Yeah, they're rolling forward, but they're still getting slid sideways, so you're really wearing the front tires out a lot. When you have a tow dolly, a vehicle like this, a front wheel drive vehicle like this, that is rear, that the rear wheels are literally always getting dragged behind anyway. So if you put the front wheels on a tow dolly, this vehicle is doing what it's meant to do. It's just meant to drag those rear wheels behind it. And so it's set up perfectly for a rear wheel drive vehicle. Now, if you have a tow dolly and you have a four wheel drive vehicle or a rear wheel drive vehicle, completely different story. But a front wheel drive vehicle is set up perfectly for a tow dolly. So. With that being said, I don't want to tow four down. I also get the argument that towing four down is so much easier because all you have to do is disconnect the, the thing and you're ready to go. I'm gonna argue that it's just as easy to do it with a tow dolly. And once we get up and running, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it actually is. Now this thing is fairly light as well. Let me show you guys. You'll be able to see that I can easily pick this thing up and move this thing around. It is not that heavy at all. It is really not that heavy. It's not that difficult to move around. So once we get somewhere, I'm gonna unhook it. I'll push it to the back of the campsite or I can leave it hooked up to the, trip, to the RV and just back into the spot. I've been backing trailers up my entire life, so I'm not gonna have a problem backing it up even with this. Plus we have the backup camera. Uh, as well to watch as we're backing up. So that's that stuff is gonna be really, really easy. Getting the car on and off these things is really, really simple, gang. And hooking them up is just a matter of putting a, a net, a strap over top of each tire, 
and you're good to go. That's it. I don't have to modify this vehicle at all. If I want to switch this vehicle and go to something else, if I want to have a Ford Focus this week and next month I want to do a Ford Edge and the next month after that I want to do uh, a Porsche and the next month after that I want to do something else. You can put car after car after car on this thing without having to change anything to the car, without doing any modifications to the vehicle whatsoever. That is another reason why I want to go with the tow dolly. Now, will I change my mind in the future? Who knows, only time will tell, but I will have some video up as I work on this thing. But for now, tow dolly is the way we're gonna go. So I'd love to hear your comments. I'm sure we're gonna just get a, a shit storm of comments going in the in the comment section i hope to get a great debate going about four four down and tow dollies and all that kind of stuff so let's make it happen guys get that comments get those comments rolling below and we'll see you again soon in another video make sure you subscribe to the channel keep up to date to everything we're doing and i believe that we're at this point 58 days out let's check it out come on and here we are. Let's see. Today is Thursday the 7th. Wednesday is gone. 58 days out. Thanks for watching, gang. We'll see you in another video. Take care. Now I'm all sweaty. Getting that tow dolly ready is going to be one of my biggest chores. And, uh, and taking video along the way is going to be a complete pain, but, but we'll do that.